and welcome back to the balcony and you just made it Brian Watson former British champion and House Calgary former world champion um, I know you've been fighting your way through the crowd because you're watching this downstairs how's the energy downstairs uh, absolutely unbelievable um, as you can see I'm sweating amazing just yeah. wow a standing oh, wow. ovation for those fabulous I'll say athletes not just dancers hey uh, athletes, they, they train as athletes, but I think they perform as artists, and I think uh, the artistry out there, with that amount of energy, is amazing. So well done. They, they were they were going for the to the last beat. There were no no one was tired. What kind of training do you think has gone in into this beforehand? Not just dancing. No, no. I think nowadays you can see from their body shapes, from uh, which difference from previous years. Um, what are you talking about? We were all in top form, anyway. I, think, yeah. I thought you were fabulous. Oh, so, so you, uh, clearly they do a lot of extra uh, stuff outside the dancing, different kinds of dance, as well as different kinds of uh, exercises, energy. I mean, all the psychological practices which goes in as well. It's just um, incredible. It's really remarkable. Do you think it's going to be a clear cut who's going to take the trophy tonight? I don't think so. I, uh, well, it's, of course, I'm glad I don't have to judge, but I don't think it's going to be clear. No. Uh, What's your thoughts, Brian? I mean, the, already from the semi-final, I think it was... You're trying to be diplomatic here, because you guys obviously yeah. coach a lot of these couples. <laughs> no, but I just mean, do you think it's going to be like fighting to the end kind of thing for that trophy? I think it should be, yes. Okay. Because I think uh, the, the standard that they're all doing, it's incredible. Of course, it can always make one mark and make a difference. But at the end of the day, when it's so close, I really hope there's a little bit of uh, activity, let's say like this. Because so many couples deserve just a little break. And I don't think it's only one or two, it is three or four. Now that's interesting because I, you know what it's like, obviously sometimes people just talk about the, the, the first, first and second from the last competition, but that's not the case tonight. No, no, I mean as an adjudicator you're asked to disregard all previous results and I think if they really do that and they don't mark form, I think anything is possible because I think all six couples were fantastic. This, this, is, this is interesting because this I think for everyone at home is, is fascinating about Blackpool, especially what you just said now, right? Yes, because normally you get different different couples in the final. This year was all six couples, all five dancers. I think that's already a shame considering the standard of the semi. Yes, could it but be seven or eight for sure, yes. I, I personally was hoping for a seven couple, a little surprise to, to make it in there. What do you think? No, I definitely think it should have been seven or eight. But that's, that's life, isn't it? I mean, the judges decide and that's what it was. And, and maybe it was clear. So there you go. And it shows how tough the competition is now because you, you could have easily had an eight couple final, right? Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. And I think... Of course, all the couples in the semi-final will be a little bit disheartened, but I really hope that they take strength from the atmosphere, from the dancing, to keep improving, and everything is possible, for sure. I mean, that's what we, we spoke about this a little bit earlier. It, it is about taking these experiences and going away and building on them, right? Because the semi-final this year, and maybe... Yeah, the thing is, anything should be possible. And we believe that eventually, of course, there's many circumstances, but eventually the best dancer will win at the end of the day. So if you really believe in it and you really dance the best, I believe you can win. Just tell me something, because th there is this moment in the jive where the, the music sort of steps up right at the end when you sort of feel like you have already danced your heart out. But then something happens in here and the audience and the energy goes with you. From both of you, I want to hear, w how does that feel inside? It's a terrible feeling, and uh, even though it's uh, 15 years ago, I did it last time, but I still remember it's painful. However, uh, the love of dance and everything that public does to you, it helps you through this. and. Uh, you mean when you hear that, that, that just stepping up again, come on, we're not finished yet. Well, I actually can only describe it as an out-of-body experience because whatever your mind you're thinking, your body, you have no control over it. So, um, yeah, I think you're just living on pure adrenaline and... Oh, well, like I said, yeah. Yes, well, I'm, I'm so glad that you've joined me up here on the balcony because obviously at the minute they're working out exactly who's going to take the trophy and who's going to be there. And there could be scores between six and one right yes. today. Yes, for me, sure. Yes, I would love to see that. And that's what I love uh, about having uh, it's just a great panel as well because you, you literally, you know, different styles. Did you see lots of different styles out there today? Yeah, there were lots of different styles. And I think there's still room for everybody to improve the different styles. For me, um, not to take anything away from the top six couples, but I think they um, should also try a little bit to develop their dancing in their own character. Let me say it like this. I think they're all very great at what they do, but I'd like to see them to experience a little bit other things as well. But you have to be brave, don't you? Because that means you have to step out of your confidence. 
Okay, the result isn't. Stay with me. Stay with me. And let's talk Good when morning, it when it's happened. Okay.